Hey everybody, welcome back to Cougar Talk Weekly with Cougars Bay. Make sure you guys get in our Twitter, Instagram, YouTube channel and hit that like and subscribe because hey, we have some pretty cool things that are coming up. As always, this is the Christmas Eve month for everybody. So we like to celebrate here at Cougar City a little bit different than everybody else. So make sure you guys log into the game because the 12 days of Christmas are happening in Cougar City. Now, we have some good news and to be honest with the way that things have been going in ESO, this is probably the best news that we could have and it, I said something about, you know, getting the uh, ESO team to give some hope and, and trust back to us in the community and you know they kind of have so the director of cinemax matt fear he posted this letter for everybody to um to see what you know they have in to discuss about it you know another year coming up um i actually like this letter i read the letter i saw what they're doing and um i, I just i got so happy because he does address things that have been wanting to address for a long time and it's absolutely insane that it took this long to do it but maybe you know this was the thing all the the whole time kind of end the the year in a good note um so i kind of see where this letter maybe was already drafted before update 36 and then, um, you know, maybe <laughs> Matt Fear says, hey, like, the shit show has started. So let's kind of end the year in a good note for our community and our players and just the staff in general because of the whole, like, union stuff that's been going on in the in the studio. So, I mean, this is, this is a good time for this letter to come out because it gives a little bit of hope. So, um... Basically, he says that we were happy to, to welcome millions of new SEL players who joined over the course of 2022, you know, fe feature new, two new locations with simplified Chinese and Spanish. We returned to a lot, uh, live in-person events and had amazing fun at the ESO Tavern in Germany this August. So it was a great year and even better that we got to start traveling again and seeing you all in person. But I would not remiss if I didn't talk about the issues with Update 36, which launched just this last November. It introduced too many bugs and issues, and even as I write this, we're still chasing down issues with blocking and combat. Trust me, I'm just as concerned about this as you all are. And we will be making some progress or process changes within the development team to ensure that, that this happens far more rarely. With an aging code base, which is 26 million lines of code, really, it is difficult to be 100% efficient, but we can be far, far better, and we know it. This is absolutely them taking the blame of, you know, having situations happen, and maybe, you know, maybe the community just got fed up to the point where, you know, enough is enough, and... Matt Fuhrer definitely agreed or maybe you know if it was coming down from Microsoft itself um Cinemax just said hey look our numbers are not good like this is what the community is is basically joking at us so maybe that's part of it but um I mean he's pissed that the block bug is still being chased and you know it's it's a concern so I definitely understand. I mean, there's worse things than the block bug, um, but it is a little bit frustrating when you're doing content that, um, you know, you enjoy doing with friends and the block bug just gets in the way because you did something that enabled it. So a perfect example is this past weekend, JPY, uh, MFQ Genocide, myself and Bob and Weaving, we were trying to farm the new, uh, Jalmar mask, I think, Kajalmar, on Hallowed Grade, basically. And the hard mode gives you a better chance to, to get it. And 
I was tanking at first. Uh, the first run was fine. And then the second run, we struggled on the last boss because the block bug just kept getting us. And, you know, things were not the same as the first um, the first time we went through it. Um, I asked Bob to, to come in uh, and tank it because he is far more experienced than, you know, JP or myself um, since JP and myself have new tanks. And Bob was struggling as well, and part of it was the block bug. Um, so we were just, you know, four friends trying to have fun on a Saturday night. Or, no, it was not Saturday. Friday night, my bad. Just a Friday night trying to have fun, you know, farm some, some stuff that's in the game um, for, you know, style, page, purpose, or to sell, or whatever. Like, we were just having fun, drinking, and... The drinking wasn't really what messed it up. It was literally the game. So, I just don't understand how this could be bad. Anyways, uh, ESO loop looking forward. In general, there are two types of content in ESO. Handcrafted, such as quests, stories, and things you do one time per character. And systems, which are activities that are generally repeatable, such as PvP, dungeons, trials, housing daily crafting rates, etc. We always had a mix of these two types of content, but in terms of dev, uh, dev team hours, the majority of time developing the game has been weighted towards questing content. As I mentioned above, the big news for 2023 is that based on significant part of player feedback, we're not to the point where we're reassessing the balance of handcrafted one and done uh, storytelling content versus repeatable game activities. <clears throat> Yes, it was a massive game with a huge number of zones, quests, and systems. We have created 40 or so hours of hand-built content every year since 2015, as well as the myriad of dungeons and new systems like One Tamriel and all that shenanigans, basically. You guys can read it. Now that we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of questing content, we are hearing from our players that it's just too much. I agree. So... It is a little bit too much. Um, Cinemax has decided to push out a lot of content. And I mean, I'm not upset or anything at them. You know, bravo for working on this for us. I, um, I do have to put, you know, my two cents that it was, it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff out there. Um, I stopped questing, like heavily questing, um, a long time ago. I have my my reasons, but there's people in the guild that that anytime there's a new quest, they, they come out and quest. Um, that's fine and all, and that's fine and Andy. And then when the new life festival comes out, a lot of people just enjoy doing those quests over and over, 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 and over and over and over again. I personally don't care for that like i like to do those quests um uh, maybe a couple of times and then i'm done but there's people that like to do those quests hundreds of times and then they're not even done they're like yeah give me more give me more let me do these quests more and more and more so i like the fact that they're kind of going towards that and that'd be cool um maybe if it's you know kind of like the dailies uh you could maybe do multiple dailies that would be cool um i don't think they're gonna do that because that that means changing the system but um yeah i mean let's see what happens so given the above 2023 we'll see us moving away from the year-long adventure the 12 month storylines i like that i like that um they started doing that in 2019 and to be honest it's it's done um the reason is it's just too much it's too much it's too much um i actually like to be left as a cliffhanger and not just a year but like two years maybe even three um this is me this is the person that house of the dragon just finished a couple months ago and um god they haven't even started filming the next season and I'm already like looking forward to it and I'm like I cannot wait I cannot wait I cannot wait I cannot wait and 
if they find the perfect timing um because they're gonna have multi-year stories so if they find the perfect timing for this then you're gonna bring that i cannot wait i cannot wait i cannot wait to figure out what happens to the game which is awesome for those quest people that want to do stuff so um they highlighted you know just kind of like what the the year basically looks like. so, so quarter one is the you'll see quarter two is the full chapter which will be a complete story blah 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 and you know we will return to watch better chapter than by doing this where everyone's excited so basically when my win came out um you know mine's a lot of stuff uh, that's, I like that because it was it's like just a full chapter, you know. Here it is. Here you go. Have fun. Um, and then, then quarter three, focus on quality of life improvements and bug fixes. This gives them a whole quarter to fix a lot of stuff. And you know, there, there might be times that they're like, oh, you know, let's let's fix this. Let's work on what the game you know can can fix like what can you fix in the game such so um and then in quarter four rather than the usual on DLC we feature new system we are working on stuff and something for this now we'll give you more details in our pro reveal event early next year. Now um they said that, that you know we'll have to wait for a global reveal, but in January we will want this. This will be part of a multi-year story arc and one of the most requested features. Um, hello, new, new race, new class. Now, I don't know, but, but spell crafting is a thing. Um, maybe a new weapon, and an involves like one hand and room so crafting kind of shenanigans. Um I don't know. I don't know. Um but if it's a new class a lot of people are like good I say it's a monk. Um Merc would like to be bard but I think that they do a monk before the bard. The bard will be cool like you know maybe have it to where <laughs> They tear in a guitar or something and, and you know, start playing something, and the shit gets under interrupted. I don't know. Some sh weird crap like that. We'll figure that out. <laughs> um, I feel that I don't have to think about what could that class do. Um, maybe that'll be a topic in another cool talk. But, um, this. Definitely plays a lot of conference back into Cinemax, at least in my opinion. Um, I really like that they put so much information in the letter. Um, and I mean, it's like, oh, well, they give us the quarters and you know, all that is. To be honest, guys, there's a lot of information for the product at once. Um, not only that, but they talk about. Hardware updates. Um, they basically said that the, almost all the hardware uh, should be in place in December, and then and they'll need like a month or two to, to test and install everything before the ship. And, and then I'll prioritize the uh, EU data first, and then go to the DNA. So, um, unfortunately, folks. Will be the last to you know, stick there, but you know it happens. I'm not blaming some for the fact that the whole world, you know, the whole thing, and, and just you know, we saw this world, we saw, um, and it's taking a little bit of time to get back to the normal sync that we were before COVID, and, and a lot of people just don't think we will ever get that. I think we will come close, if anything, but, uh, just 
the pandemic kind of changed the world as a whole. And I mean, I like it. I like some of the changes that have been made, but you know, it's the world. But um, I don't think we need a pandemic to that on. I uh, think that was kind of a lot of things that, that happened that shouldn't really be. But now, now I, I think this is the most. Uh, this is the most time part for me because I'm going to try to make this. Uh, they wanted to do these and gatherings going to be North America. We wanted to do a mass gathering in North America, in North America, of years. I'm very happy to say that we will have a number of persons going to this in the United States. I'm excited about this. I want them to have this, um, I mean, I'll probably go to the one in, um, in Europe um, another time, but the fact that we get this in the strength specifically, um, I'll, I'll be looking forward to it, and if I can make it, I'll, I'll definitely make it, and I will, uh, a little podcast or whatever over it, so that'd be pretty awesome and pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's that's really all that this letter has to say. Um, I do think you know there's three things that we can we get a new, new class, new race, or spell crafting. Um, if it's like a spell crafting, it's it'll be a new weapon. Um, I also saw the JP tonight, and I was like, well, what about if we could, um, maybe, like, have the spell uh, with the hand in our room, but that allows us to manipulate our list of gear. So, so let's say that, that you have, like, a maximum if on your, um, on your body, like, on a body piece, um, you can manipulate it to where it's like two, kind of like what the prismatic was, but manipulate that. Um, so something like, like that. Manipulate, um, maybe weapons, glyphs, but that's, I think that's too much work. If they want to have power of the Cinemax, but I think it'll be too much work. I, I do think that the one in room thing with spell, like, like swinging. I guess. Um, that'd be pretty cool. And, I mean, I don't know how they would make it work, but I'm not sure Cinemax has people that are better at figuring those things out than myself. So, I leave it to them to do it. But I'm excited about the fact that Fear has come out with this letter and said, hey, you know. This, this is what's gonna happen, folks. So, that's the best news that I've gotten in a good month, I guess, for us in a mess. And, I mean, I can't, I can't wait to see how they reveal like, what, what the reveal is it's gonna be like. like um, we will definitely be doing um, a good job when the real happens because I want to see what we're talking about. Like I said, I'm very excited about this letter and if everything that he's been let come true, then this is the studio just a lot more uh, respect and just being serious and such. So that's my opinion. Um, another thing that I saw on the net is, um, is they, some people said that they might add a, a best level content to all it, and that way, well, let's say you, you have in your group setting to vet, then, um, the content on the overland will be much and it, it will be it will be better here, better maps, better rewards or around. Um, that's another thing that I would love to have in the game. Just better 
reward system. Uh, team rewards are absolutely needed. You know, that's what comes out, out of the most that feature that I will be okay with that over in the last few weeks. Whatever. Like, there's just a lot of stuff that I'm okay with. The, the brain and that, that highly soft feature. Um, please give us more housing space and more banking space. We, we really need it. Um, I know that the transfer is a thousand. Why not let us have banking up to a thousand or something? Um, or, you know, get banks if you, if you have, you know, 400 plus members in the world or 300 plus members in the world. Happen to where you know, the banks a little bit there. Um, so that's just a couple stuff that I top of my head. But like I said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check our Patreon. We are really excited about our Patreon. We have a lot of good things. Um, if you're able to support us, please do so. But if you're not, you know, if you're really strapped for cash, I'm going to do it. Just take care of your your life, your family, and you know, come on to us to have fun. Uh, thank you guys, producers in Boss House, Cuckoo, Space, Dark, Music, Line, Everything X, Summary 71. And then we have, you know, people do content every single night of the week. Um, we also have weekly traders where we're on a base skill, so the donations. Anything that this is a better player is obviously encouraged. And we have an event next week. It's going to be the uh, Naked and Kill. They're going to get to Kill City and Kill Hansik. Had Seek with two players. And they're going to kill them. They're going to have two players. And I'm going to try to find them and kill them. So it's one of our very, very fun Monday night events. Um, as well as the Naked and Afraid Trial. And then we also have a beginner and advanced prog teams. The beginner team is on Friday night. The advanced prog team is Tuesday. We are looking for a DS spot. So if you can hit 80 to 100k, please send those COVs in um, parses to Google Bay. And we will take you into consideration. We have PP nights and social security nights are coming after the new Christmas tournament that, that um, our A players, you know, just got crowned last week. We have a tournament coming up and eight players are going to find out for final gold. I'm excited to see who the winner comes out to and it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a great time. But like I said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and just kind of join us in the other social media, Discord, whatnot. Thanks, everybody, and have a good night.